In this mini lecture, we will be talking about, uh, again, balancing redox reactions using the half reaction method. And it's going to be a, a lot like my other video on this. The only difference now is this particular problem will be done when the solution that everything is in is in a basic solution instead of an acidic solution. And the steps are very much the same. You're doing almost all the same steps that you did before when everything was in an acidic solution. But now before your final check, uh, there's just one more step to add in there. And that is when you're all done, if this was an acidic solution, you have some hydrogen ions in there. And this time what we have to do is get rid of those hydrogen ions at the end because it's a basic solution. The hydroxide ions are going to end up neutralizing any hydrogen ions you've got in there to form water. And then we'll have to adjust the amount of water um, as needed in our final equation. So we'll go ahead and, and go to an example. So you get another example of seeing uh, balancing by the half reaction method. Our first step again is to break our our original equation in the two half reactions. This time we have the MnO4 going to an MnO2. And our other part of this half reaction is our bromide ion becoming part of the bromate ion there. Now, again, our steps are the same before. Our first step before was the balance for all the elements except for oxygen and hydrogen. In this case, um, in our first half reaction, we're already balanced for the manganese. In our second reaction, we're already balanced for the, for the bromine. So not, we don't need to do anything there. Nothing is needed there. Our next step um, in each half reaction is balanced for the oxygen. Um, on our first half reaction, we have four oxygens on the left. We already have two on the right. We need to provide two more. We will provide those using water molecules, and we will need two water molecules to provide the two oxygens we need to add to the other two oxygens, so we have four oxygens on each side. In our second equation, we've got three oxygen atoms on the left-hand side, so we're going to need three water molecules. I'm sorry, three oxygen atoms on the right-hand side. We're going to need to add three water molecules to the left-hand side to get the oxygen to balance. Now we're balanced for oxygen in both of our half reactions. Now we go back and balance for our hydrogen. In our first reaction, we now have two water molecules that contain two hydrogens each. We have a total of four hydrogens. So we'll need to add four hydrogens on the left-hand side of our equation. And uh, in our second half reaction, we now have six water molecules on the left-hand side, providing two hydrogens each. We've got a total of six hydrogen atoms, so we'll add six hydrogen ions to the right-hand side. Now, I know at this point you may be thinking, wait a minute, this is an acidic solution, or I'm sorry, this is a basic solution, and with the presence of hydrogen ions, it makes it look like it's an acidic solution. Uh, again, we will take care of that at the end. Don't worry about that now. So what we have to worry about now is now that we have our elements balanced, we need to go ahead and balance for our charges. And so what we'll do is our first equation here, we've got four positive hydrogen ions plus that uh, MnO4 single minus that says four positives plus a minus that gives us three positives on the left hand side. Over on the right hand side, we've got a neutral, we've got a couple of neutral uh, species here. Uh, we don't have any charge. So our left-hand side is more positive to get this to the balance. That's the side we're going to have to add the electrons to. And since we have three more positives on the left and the right, we'll have to add three electrons to the left-hand side to get that to balance. For our second half reaction, we now have three neutral water molecules plus a bromide ion, so that's a total of negative one on that left-hand side. On this right-hand side, we've got a negative one from our BRO3 minus, plus we have six positives. So the negative one plus a positive six gives us a total of five positives on that side. So now we take a look at this and say, well, 
Our right hand side is more positive. It is higher by six on the right hand side. We got, I guess we, the difference between the positive five and the negative one is six. And so what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to add six negative electrons to that right hand side to balance for our charge. And now we should have everything balanced in our two half reaction method, or two half reactions. And what we need to do now is to make sure we have the same number of electrons in each half reaction. And we take a look at this to say our first half reaction has three electrons, our second one has six electrons. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to multiply everything in this first half reaction we're going to have to multiply by 2 in order to get the electrons to work out. When we've done that, we will have 8 hydrogen ions plus 6 electrons plus 2 of our permanganate ions plus 2 of our manganese 4 oxides plus 4 water molecules. Multiply all our coefficients by two. Uh, let's get a little bit busy here, so we'll just go ahead and erase this out of the way. And now we can go ahead and add these together. And this time, I think in our my previous example, I, I canceled things out before. This time, I'm going to go ahead and, and add them together first. And then we'll, we'll cancel things out afterwards. So if we go ahead and add these two equations together, we will have eight hydrogen ions on the left, plus six electrons, plus two permanganate ions, plus three water molecules, plus a bromide ion. And then we'll have two MnO2s plus four water molecules plus the BrO3 minus plus six H plus plus six electrons. And right off the bat, we say, well, we've got our six electrons on each side. Before and after, we can cancel those out right away. Get rid of them. Then what we can do is we take a look at our hydrogen ions and say, well, what we can do here is subtract six hydrogen ions from each side. That'll make them completely go away from the right-hand side. And over on our left-hand side, we'll be left with two hydrogen ions. And likewise, we could subtract three water molecules from each side. And that'll make the, the water completely disappear from the left-hand side. And it'll make um, all but one disappear from the right-hand side. And now we're looking a little, little bit messy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite what we have up above and say after we've canceled everything out we now have two H pluses plus two permanganate ions plus our bromide ion and afterwards we have our two MnO2 plus our bromate ion plus a water molecule. Now, at this point, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and erase some of those, all the other work that I've shown here, just to kind of get it out of the way so you can see what we're going to do for our final step because we've done all those steps that we've done just like we did before when it was in an acidic solution. But this time we say, well, we're in a basic solution and we can't have those hydrogen ions 
uh, hanging out up there because because that would be an acidic solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to neutralize them. So two hydrogen ions will get neutralized by two hydroxide ions because this is a basic solution. But because we've got this whole equation balanced, whatever we do to one side, we need to do to the other side. So if we add two hydroxide ions to one side, we're also going to add them over here on the other side. Now, when we add those, those aren't going to cancel out this time. Before we were subtracting things and making them go away, this time when we add two hydrogen ions and two hydroxide ions, we know we're going to get two water molecules. So those two things will combine to add two more water molecules to our, our mix. And now, just like before, when we had water show up on both sides of the equation, now we've got to take care of this again, because again, we've got water on both sides. So what we can do is go ahead and say, well, we're going to subtract one water molecule from each side, leaving us with just one water molecule down here. And so now that we've done that step, now we've got everything. And just to make it all nice and neat, I'll go ahead and rewrite it. And we should be able to take a look at that and make sure that we have the right numbers of each element on each side. We've got two hydrogen atoms on both on each side. Uh, looks like over on the left hand side, we've got one oxygen plus eight more. We've got a total of nine oxygens on the left. Over on the right hand side, we've got four plus three is seven plus two more oxygen. We've got nine oxygens on the right. Uh, we've got two manganese on the left, two manganese on the right. We've got one bromine on the left and one bromine on the right, and we're balanced there. And now as far as charges go, uh, we've got two negatives plus another negative. We've got three negative charges total on the left-hand side, and we've got three negative charges on the right-hand side. So all our elements are balanced, all our, our charges are balanced, and we're in a basic solution. So we're ending up with hydroxide ions in our equation rather than hydrogen ions.